And this is to the ladies. You know how when you wear some heels and the alarm goes off and the alarm says you gotta take your shoes off? Okay, well, I'm sitting down because the alarm went off in my shoes. <laughs> but I am so happy to be here. I want to thank TK and her band of merry organizers for putting this event together, for putting uh, this positive energy out to the community. We all definitely need to be here. Um, it's long overdue. Long overdue. Um, my name is Ro Black. I'm an actress. Uh, I haven't always been an actress. Um, my story is this. I uh, used to sing karaoke at uh, Midtown. Remember Midtown? Yeah. Remember Midtown? Okay. Um, and then I got married. My husband pulled me out of the club. But uh, not too long after that, I was diagnosed with cancer. I was diagnosed with thyroid cancer. And thyroid is a gland that's about right here. And uh, they found it. They found it early. And they just took the entire gland out and took the cancer out. And I'm cured. And after that, my husband said, <laughs> After that, my husband said, honey, you've been through so much, you can do anything you want to do. And I said, well, baby, I want to be an actress. He said, go be an actress. So I did. I went to New York, and I studied at the Lee Strasberg Theater and Film Institute. I studied at Lee Sparrow School. I studied at the best schools with the best coaches that I could get, that my money could afford. And I had a lot of money at the time. Then I came back here, and I just knew that I was going to take Austin by storm. Crickets. Didn't happen. So what I did was I decided I continued to study with the local acting coaches. And then one day I was online checking Actors Access, as many of us actors do. And I said, you know what, I think I'm going to check LA and see what's going on in LA. And I found a role for a movie called Keeping the Faith, Mama's Got a Boyfriend. They were looking for the lead, Sylvia Jones. They wanted a 50-ish black female with some meat on her bones, sophisticated, pretty, that's me. So I went ahead and submitted for this role, and they called me in for an audition. And now this audition was in LA, so that meant I had to get online, buy a ticket to LA, fly into LA the next day, get super shuttle to the audition location, give them my headshot, do my audition, come back home and wait for the call. Mm. And I did that. And the call came. And I got the lead role of that movie. The name of the movie is Keep It Faith. Thank you. My first LA audition ever. And I got the lead. That movie is Keep It Faith. Mama's Got a Boyfriend. That movie is available at Blockbuster Video on Cameron Road in 290. It's the only one in town that has it. But you can also go online to Blockbuster.com or Amazon.com and rent that movie. Uh, you can also purchase the movie through Amazon.com. And I said all this to say that we must be determined in our career pursuits and our dreams. When people say that we can't do it for whatever reason, fill in the blank, you have to believe in yourself when no one else does. Here I am, black female with some meat on her bones, can't get anything significant here in Austin, but I can go to LA and get the first and second auditions that I go on. But I think that if we had come together years ago, that might not have been the case. And I think from this point on, things are going to be different. What TK has done, and all of us being here together today, I think will open doors for many of us. And I just wanted to come up here and just share that the road is difficult for each and every one of us. We all have a story to tell, but you must keep on keeping on. And you must reach out and, and do some networking and, and go out on faith. I flew out to LA, you know when you go on a job interview, they don't pay you gas money to go on a job interview. They did not pay me for my airline ticket for that audition, but I did it. And this is something that's available to all of the actors and, and other professionals who are here. If you have those web-based uh, job sites, you know, if 